Falcon with the uh, having not the best recovery uh, is very susceptible to Sheik being able to edge guard him and Falcon being a fast faller. Sheik is also going to be able to get off some grab tech chase combos and stuff right that, like that. But Steam Fried Asian SDing, which is unfortunate because he had kind of a lead because Rage forgot to hold A to switch to Sheik from the start screen. And that made it so Steam Fried Asian was just able to get a neutral advantage. But in SDing, he basically he gives up the stock, which isn't what you want. Especially in a matchup like this, where stocks are going to be a bit easier for Rage to take. But Rage SDs too, tries to wave dash onto the ledge, but ends up uh, air dodging to his death. Uh, he should be able to take this stock though. Uh, Miss Space is that back here, so he drops that. And Rage SDs again! What is this? All he needed to do was run off and forward or Steam Fried Asian, but he decided to go for some weird runoff stage up B shenanigans and it ended up costing him the stock. And Steam Fried Asian doing a good job of mixing up his recovery, which is what you need to do as Falcon in this matchup, is mix up your recovery and get off those combos that you can get against Sheik. Because Sheik, she is semi-combo food. I wouldn't say like the most combo food, but you can definitely combo her as Falcon and Team Fright Asian getting the ledge hogged away from him, not able to recover, dropped just a little bit too low to get back onto the stage. Alright, and so far, Team Fright Asian, he's been playing the stock a bit better, but as I say that, Rage is gonna just take the stock. He's just gonna say, do needles, down smash, ledge hog, and take the stock from Steam Fright Asian. Um, what I'd like to see out of both of these characters is them not SD. -ing. That would be nice. Also, uh, I'd like to see Rage try being able to capitalize more off of the, the edge, guard, edge guards that he gets and forgets to switch to Sheik again. Uh, so he takes a knee to boot, but he does get a combo started after. It doesn't take too much off of that. That's good. And what I'd like to see out of Steam Fried Asian is I'd like to see him be able to combo more because he didn't get off any super long, flashy Falcon combos that we're used to seeing. He was kind of just playing a bit more back and looking. It, lo it looked like he was looking, but he wasn't look He wasn't going in on the opportunity as much. And a nice up air, a nice up air string from Steam Fright Asian will take off Rage's first stock, but Rage comes back. Ooh, he just misspaces the back air and gets grabbed, but it doesn't matter. Because Steam Fright still in a bad position with being off stage, and Rage, with not a lot of percent racked up on him, doesn't take too much hit stun and is able to get the stock to boot. Get to grab. Ooh, a nice jabbed down smash coming out from Rage. That's a very staple Sheik combo, especially against these fast fallers like Falcon. You can get a lot of different weird jab, grab, down smash type things on the at low percent. <coughs> a nice knee from Steam Fried will take off another stock from Rage though. Um, Steam Fried is going for a lot of random stomps, which, I mean, if you land the down air as Falcon, you can get some, you can get a lot of different cool stuff going as far as combos go. But, uh, he's throwing out a lot of random ones. Steam Fright, it looks like he uh, went back a little bit to try and grab the ledge. Thought Rage was going to go back onto the stage, but Rage just held onto the ledge, called him out on it, and gets the stock. But as I say that, Steam Fright gets a ledge hog of his own against Rage, which definitely helps him. Has a stock lead against Rage right now. So, a nice string will be able to take it probably. Like I'd say, like a couple up airs on the knee or something should be able to take off this this stock from Rage. But Rage doing a good job now after getting comboed a little bit, playing a little bit more passively, not letting him get much started. Gets jabbed as I say that, has him off stage. Nice call out on the recovery from Steam Fred. <coughs> 
was a lot of back and forth of advantage going between each player. And Seed Fried with a back air will take off the game from Rage. Alright, so uh, I think both these players, Steam Fried and Rage, need to clean up their play a little bit. They've both, it's been a lot of back and forth. So I think uh, Steam Fried, he needs to make his advantage state better. Because Sheik and Captain Falcon in this matchup both have a very good advantage state. Uh, Sheik wins in neutral a little bit, in my opinion, just because she can needle space and has. Uh, the mobility options to be able to get away from what Falcon wants to do. But Seamfried really needs to capitalize on his... Uh, when he gets an advantage like this. Like when he has Rage off stage, when he has Rage in a combo, he needs to be able to seal out the stock. And Rage kind of needs to do the same thing. Rage has been doing a better job than Steamfried in my opinion, but Steamfried has also been opening up a lot more opportunities. So it's like... For every one opportunity that Rage does, Steam Pride gets two, but Rage capitalizes on his opportunities more. So Rage needs to lo not let Steam Pride get these opportunities, and Steam Pride needs to capitalize a little bit more on his opportunities. Uh, I don't know if that was an SD or not, if Rage just thought he had his jump or what went on there, but we have even stocks again. Um, and Rage getting a bit of a combo started. Just a lot of crouch cancel down smashes when Seed Fred's trying to recover. Nice, nice option from Seed Fred going to, for the wall hop back onto the stage. Up air's coming out from Rage though. People in the audience getting hype. That's always nice to see. Oh! Just the raw knee from Steam Fred call, trying to call him out. Man, this is so much back and forth. Like, you see Steam Fried Asian getting an opportunity and trying to capitalize on it, and then Rage turning it around and having and getting an opportunity and trying to capitalize on it, and just a lot of back and forth between these two players. Very close game. An SD coming out from Rage once again in this set, which is unfortunate to see, but you know, I guess it happens. Ooh, Steam Fried getting an opportunity, misses the tech chase though, doesn't quite land the stomp. Gets a phantom hitbox on the up smash, which is unfortunate, but uh, doesn't end up mattering too much. Yeah, Steam Fright, he's going for a lot of these down air tech chase re reads, but he, uh, not successfully. Uh, he's not doing the best job. That was a beautiful tech. Not doing the best job at reading where Rage is gonna go, and Rage doing a good job at not letting him. Uh, Steam Fright accidentally SDs though. But uh, Rage is at 90%, so that it very well could be ending that stock lead soon. But Steam, Steam Fright, he's, he's getting comboed on. Is Rage going to take this? He could. Going for... Missed the up air to knee twice, which is unfortunate. Goes for the wall jump knee again, but Rage doesn't fall for it. Finally gets that up throw to knee. And last stock of this set for both players. But Rage has a percent lead for himself. We'll see if he's able to capitalize on it. Down tilt. Up air. Seam Fred, good job at mixing up where he's gonna go. Doesn't let Rage combo. A nice neutral air. Ah, oh, and that takes it. Rage upsetting against Seam Fred Asian. That was a beautiful set.